The link between vitamin D deficiency and weak bones is well documented, but there's a new study that also found that vitamin D provides assistance with keeping blood pressure at a normal level. And UConn professor and hypertension specialist, Dr. William White, is here. We're talking about it. Good to see you, Doctor. Thank you very much. So tell us about this new study. You need more vitamin D in your diet or in capsule form, right? Well, the problem in Connecticut, we don't have a lot of sunlight throughout the year. We wear sunblock, and the way to get vitamin D active is by sunlight in your skin. So we, when we test our patients, about half of them have vitamin D deficiency, and we think that that's a link to development of high blood pressure. So you're finding that if you don't have enough vitamin D in your system, in your life, that you might become susceptible to high blood pressure? High blood pressure and its consequences. Wow. What are some of the consequences? Well, the Framingham study, which is just north of us in Massachusetts, has shown that people in the lowest 25% of vitamin D have a greater risk of heart disease and stroke. Unbelievable. And they've been following these people for 40, 50 years, so I think it's pretty sound data. There is so much news out there. Slather on the sunscreen. You don't want to get burned. There's the chance that you might get skin cancer. But putting on that sunscreen actually inhibits the sun rays from having you, I guess, get enough vitamin D, right? Yes, I can't advocate people going out and getting fried. I think it is really bad for your skin. I mean, for all kinds of skin cancers and just the wrinkling processes. Okay. And when you put on the block, it really protects you against that, but it also protects the skin from the conversion. So put on the block and maybe take a vitamin D supplement? Yes, that's our working hypothesis right now. We're allowing people to, to use their sun protection and we're put, giving them a lot higher amounts of vitamin D in the study. How much vitamin D does a normal person need? Well, it depends on the person, but if you're older, you probably need more because the conversion of this, uh, this, this vitamin D in the skin is less efficient. Are you probably one to 2,000 units a day. Are you finding older people are more vitamin D deficient than younger people? Older people are. People with a lot of melanin in their skin pigment, like black patients and Hispanic with dark pigment, have a greater chance of vitamin D deficiency. Do men and women equal about the same as far as the vitamin D deficiency? So far, we've seen that to be about the the same, yes. Okay. Can you get vitamin D in foods too? Yeah, the vitamin D is in the dairy products, but it's in fairly small quantities. So we're basically having to supplement in our trial to try and get blood pressure lower. All right, so it sounds like bottom line, try to get some more vitamin D as a supplement in your diet, especially if you're an older. Right, individual. but it should be tested first. You should know okay. what your value is. You shouldn't just take it willy-nilly. You really should know. Okay. Dr. White, thanks very much for coming in. Yeah, thank it from you. UConn.